Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 23rd, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to provide you with an update on a very extreme weather event that is now impacting the Hawaiian Islands, namely Hurricane Lane, which in this NOAA satellite shot we can see now coming rather close to the major Hawaiian islands with a very large, uh, very, very large section of cloud cover. You can see the central dense overcast here, but there's quite a bit of interaction going on with land, which is resulting in very extreme rainfall for the Hawaiian islands, namely the big island presently, but as Lane continues to move to the north and northwest, we are likely to see very heavy rainfall and flash flooding over a number of the Hawaiian islands. Presently, according to the latest National Hurricane Center report, Lane is located to the southwest of the big island of Hawaii. Presently, contains maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, is moving to the northwest at seven miles per hour, a, a notably slow rate of speed, and its minimum, minimum central pressure is 949 millibars. Over the next few days, Lane is expected to track, continue to track close to the Hawaiian islands, bringing heavy rains, storm surge flooding, and primarily high risk of flash flooding due to very heavy rainfall. I'm going to show you a GFS model providing present precipitation rates and projected precipitation rates as Lane interacts with the Hawaiian Islands. So moving forward over the coming hours, we see quite a bit of interaction with the Big Island and then as Lane turns toward the north, the central storm is beginning to impact both the Big Island and a number of islands up chain. It's worth noting that according to the National Hurricane Center, rainfall totals across parts of the Hawaiian Islands can hit as high as 30 inches in this event which is an extraordinary rainfall total, rivaling some of the more extreme events that we have seen recently. Already, the Big Island of Hawaii has seen very heavy rainfall, with Hilo itself, as of early this morning, receiving eight inches, and region south of Hilo receiving one foot of rain with reports of as high as 14 inches in some locations. Unfortunately, this continuous pounding is likely to persist over the next few days. So it's likely that we are going to see worsening flooding even though we've already seen flash flooding and, landsl and landslides from this event. Now, human-caused climate change amplifies the impacts of hurricanes in a number of ways. And I'm going to go ahead and read a quote to you from Climate Signals, which provides fingerprint data for extreme weather events related to human-caused climate change. So it, it provides information about how climate change influences and can worsen extreme weather events. And climate change impacts hurricane activity in a number of ways. First, it increases the rainfall that drops during the storm by amplifying the hydrological cycle in that as the earth warms, the rate of evaporation and precipitation increases. But climate science has shown that the increase in, in heavy precipitation events is biased toward the more extreme events. So, so not only does the rate of evaporation and precipitation increase, 
but those heavy precipitation events tend to be more focused in the strongest storms. In addition, increasing sea surface temperature increases the maximum potential intensity of hurricanes. And presently in the Hawaiian island region, we have seen sea surface temperatures ranging from two to four degrees Fahrenheit above average, which has helped to fuel lanes intensity and enable lane to stay stronger as it approaches the Hawaiian islands. And in addition to that, rising sea levels provide a higher ramp for storm surges to run in on. I'd like to also read you this quote from Kristen Corbusierio, an associate professor in the Atmospheric Envir and Environmental Sciences Department at the University of Albany. This quote from the New York Times. And Kristen notes that Recent research suggests that climate change has led to a trend of storms moving more slowly. So slower moving storms, heavier rainfalls, higher ramps for storm surges, and overall poten potential for more intense storms are climate change fingerprints on the present event now affecting Hawaii in the form of Hurricane Lane. So just an update, but I'd like to add that residents of Hawaii should please pay attention to National Weather Service emergency reports, particularly as it relates to stream flooding, mudslides, and heavy rainfall events, as heavy rainfall is likely to be the most extreme influence coming from Lane at this time. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.